country. So congratulations to them. All right, back to our top, sto top story now. We are waiting on a vote on health care reform. It should be coming uh, soon. Congressman Brian Bilbray has been giving us a play-by-play -play from the floor, and he joins us again on the phone this morning. Again, Congressman, good morning to you. Good morning. You want to give us an update at this point? Well, it's gotten kind of bizarre because um, there's been basically a rule that says that each side gets 50, um, 30 minutes each. But now what's happened is that there's a whole line of Democrats have lined up in the Congress asking for uh, the right to make statements um, and above that 30 minutes for the Democrats. And the Republicans now have asked, fine, they can make a statement, but... The Republicans should be given the same amount of extra time to be able to make statements, and the Speaker has denied the Republicans the same amount of time as this huge line of Democrats um, would take up. So it, it is something I haven't seen in Congress the whole time I'm here, and that is with members of Congress lining up through the down the aisle and around the House um, to make a... Um, make statements above and beyond the allotted time that was given to um, their side and not offering the same opportunity to um, uh, the, the allotted time to the Republican side. So right now there's a whole procedural thing going on. And I'm rather mm -hmm. shocked that it was that it was coming from the Democrat side because they've got the bill, they've got the time, and basically they want to get this thing passed as soon as possible. I don't understand why they're doing this delay tactic unless there's some problems that I don't know about or no one else knows about. Mm -hmm. And so uh, right now, tell us what's happening. We're wa looking at some live pictures from the House floor. Uh, tell us what's going on as far as the debate over this issue. And, and basically, they're setting down the rules, and you're saying right now it looks like, uh, from your perception, that, the, that they're, they're one-sided. Yeah, well, the, the, the rules that, that were adopted um, is being considered um, mm -hmm. is 30 minutes on each side to discuss the rule for the main bill. Um, but if you look at the pictures and they show the um, where the congressmen stand, you'll see, or, or sit, you'll see um, members of Congress lined up in the uh, aisle on the Democrat side, asking for unanimous consent to be able to make a statement above and beyond that 30 minutes that's been allotted to their side. And so it's sort of something I've never seen happen before. But it looks like a tactic that uh, I would expect the. The Republicans to play to delay rather than the Democrats. It looks like a delaying tactic, which gives me an indication that there's something going on we don't know about. But why would somebody who's got the votes, um, controls the, mm -hmm. the, um, the speaker's seat, why would they be um, delaying? And why would you then do this and not give equal time to the other side? And so it's rather kind of bizarre, to, to say the least. Yeah, it sounds almost like a filibuster going on or something. <laughs> Yeah, you don't filibuster when you're in control of the floor. I mean, that's the part. It, 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 it's a filibuster by the majority, and the people that are controlling the time, they can, they can um, uh, do this whole thing. So they're filibuster on one side, and the um, spokesman for the Republicans mm -hmm. said, fine, we'll let you delay, but like, give us the same amount of time as they use. Does that make you believe that they may not have the amount of votes that they think they have? I don't, I don't know. There might be some internal fighting going on. This whole thing's been really an inside-the-ball game among the Democrats trying to figure out what they can pass and what they can't pass. But right now it looks like more of a thing that somebody is trying to have the time to, to make a statement for their district for re-election because this thing obviously is going to be a hot issue coming up the next, the next electoral process. Now we're told the president is going to make an appearance this morning. Have you seen any sign of it? Well, yeah, we're seeing a sign of it. Is security is sweeping everything. There's dogs. There's helicopters flying over the Capitol as I speak. And so, yes, there's a whole lot of all stops are being pulled out to try to get um, this thing through uh, this weekend somewhere through the House. At the same time that everybody uh, is rush, rush, rush in the House, we know that the Senate has announced they are not even going to consider this item until January. So some of us are asking, what's the big rush then if uh, nothing can be signed into law, nothing can be passed with, with, um, in the next couple months anyway? Uh, do you know what time the president is due to speak on the floor, Congressman? Well, well it's not on the floor. He's supposed to meet with the Democrats okay. in, a, in about um, – they, they should be meeting with them at any time now. And so he was supposed to be in um, about 15 minutes ago, but we haven't heard that he's on campus yet. So uh, I don't know if that's maybe what the stalling tactic mm -hmm. has something to do with it, but it's just kind of bizarre. I have – I haven't seen um, uh, the Democrats even do this when they're in the minority. I was surprised to see them do this when they're in the majority. Either way, it sounds like you have a long day, possibly a long weekend ahead of you here. Absolutely. It goes with the job. But the nice part about it is I hope 
and pray that after we're finished with all of this stuff, I get to come home to San Diego for a while. <laughs> right. Congressman Brian Bill, Bill Bray. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Congressman, thank you so much for speaking with us. And uh, Anytime. God we'll bless you. check in with you again right. next hour. A lot happening there in Washington today, of course. Uh, as this historic vote being made on a Saturday. And as you heard the congressman say, it looks like there's some stalling going on. And uh, a little surprisingly strange. to him, yep. it's happening on the Democratic side. Because we were told uh, that the Democrats did have enough votes to pass this thing, and perhaps this is a sign that they don't. But uh, we will, of course, stay tuned and find out exactly the latest in Washington as we go along today. That All right, let's right. check.